Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. Hi I'm Lisa Dixon from Divorce TV, hope you're doing well. One of the questions I wanted to share with you this week was about how can I keep my house? And here are some really simple tips. One of them is, if you want to keep your house, make sure it is valued low. Keep the value low. Now you can go in and have different expert opinions, and you might need to get two, you might need to get three. Sometimes you can average the valuation over the three uh, prices that come in. But it's really important that if you want to buy your X out, you keep the value low. Then you're paying less. Now, of course, if you want the, your ex to buy you out, then you probably want the price high. <laughs> so it works the other way around. Now, in terms of valuation, some of the things that can help are things like, are there repairs around the house? Is there maybe asbestos or anything dangerous around the house? Are there any significant areas that need renovation that are devaluing the house? Is it maybe a heritage item? Is it maybe a property of significance in the area? And therefore the local regulations say that you cannot build, you cannot demolish it, you cannot change it. That all affects the value as well. So all of those things have to be taken into account. And you might want to get some expert opinions. There are plenty of people out there to help you. You can also have people in that will actually go through the house and work out like a depreciation schedule or list uh, an engineer's report of everything wrong with the house or the apartment or the flat, wherever you are, that will help your case. So all of those tips should help you in terms of looking at how do you keep your house. And of course, don't forget to get financial and legal advice wherever you need it. And your local real estate agents will also be of help, but a registered valuer is of course the expert opinion usually in this particular field. Okay, nice to talk to you and I'll see you soon on Divorce TV. Bye for now.